One other feature in Word is, and in any Word processing program, is the creating, being able to create columns within a document. And the columns could be for the whole document or for a specific page. So we're going to first learn how to create columns for the whole document. So let's say this is our document, and at this point, from this point on, we want to create columns. Now this, if you're to think about it, it's something that has to do with the layout of the document. So the concept here is that uh, decode, try to decode your own words, and uh, we need to figure out and go to something that has to do with the layout of the document. So we go under Page Layout, and in here we'll look around in the options for that specific function. So now here we see columns and you can either choose automatically two columns and that'll change it right away for the whole document or we can go back and undo this and let's say we go under columns and then choose more columns, more column options basically. And then in here we say we want two columns and we want a line in between let's say and then we want to apply this to this point forward. That means uh, from this page, from this point, wherever we click last on the document to the end of it. Then we click OK. And at this point, the document has been created with columns for the rest of the document that, from where we clicked last. Another thing that you might want to do at some point is that uh, let's say you want only a section of it in column in a column format so to do that you just select whatever section you want and then click on columns more columns then go and change it to two of them and then if you want a line in between you can do the line and then you say it's going to apply it only to the selected text then you click OK and at this point, so we select the text that we want in columns, columns, more, two, okay, and there they are. So the text before and the text after, it is regular format, regularly formatted. 